YouTube real shooting here and in today's video we just got out to the Hackberry Gully Park Pond my objective for this morning is to catch one on a buzz bait you guys I've never caught a bass on a buzz bait oh there's a couple of blow-ups happening real shallow there was a gator right here and this is normally where I launch he saw me come in the water he took off so it's good to see he'll keep his distance and I went the other way around the island so We'll stay away from each other i'm gonna try the buzz bait and then i do have two spinning combos and one bait caster to throw i have my texas rig tied on my drop shot and the wacky rig now if the buzz bait doesn't work we're probably gonna have to switch out and figure them out last time what was doing it was the chatter bait right now the water's real calm so hopefully we can get on that buzz bait bite real quick you guys stay tuned hello youtube real shooting here and in today's video we just got out to the hackberry gully park pond my objective for this morning is to catch one on a buzz bait, you guys. I've never caught a bass on a buzz bait. Ooh. There's a couple of blow-ups happening real shallow. There was a gator right here, and this is normally where I launch. He saw me come in the water, he took off. So it's good to see he'll keep his distance. And I went the other way around the island, so we'll stay away from each other. I'm gonna try the buzz bait, and then I do have two spinning combos and one bait caster to throw. I have my Texas rig tied on, my drop shot, and the wacky rig. Now if the buzz bait doesn't work, we're probably going to have to switch out and figure them out. Last time what was doing it was the chatter bait. Right now the water's real calm, so hopefully we can get on that buzz bait bite real quick. You guys stay tuned. Cranking out deep was the best bet we had. Oh, that's a big one. That's the PV here. We need to bring him on in, but he is powerful. And he is fired up. Oh my God, this is heavy. <laughs> we found the PV at the Hackberry Pond, you guys. This is a big one. Holy moly. You guys, no way. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get the scale out. This is a chunk. Oh, this has to be a five pounder. I made the right move casting out here. I was heading towards the dam and I was like, let me cast out here in the deeper part. There has to be fish down here. Sorry, bass. He got hooked and he's tangled in the net. Ow, tangled in the net. <laughs> Okay, we got the hooks out of them. Now this is just caught up in the net. No way. You guys, that's a big bass. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. I have to get the scale out. Oh man. Let's zero that out real quick. Let me zero it again. All right, let's see. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's a three pounder. Three pounds, two ounces. 
Hopefully that shows up pretty good. Oh man, that's a big fish, you guys. Whew. I'm gonna have to get a photo. It's my biggest one out here, at least. That is a tub. Look at the thickness on that bass. Oh man, you guys. Gotta get the selfie. This is a big fish, you guys. I cannot believe it. Oh man, he's powerful. He's powerful. I'm gonna let him get some water. I'm gonna show him to my rear camera real quick. Three pounder, you guys. Three pounds, two ounces. <laughs> oh man, first fish of the day, too. Let's let her back in. She's ready to go. Ooh. That's a big one. One last look. All right, we're letting her in. She's ready. There she goes. Wow. There we go. There we go. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Going for the crank. Barely hooked on top of the mouth. Pop that out of you. Bass number two. Very little guy. Careful with this one, he's hooked kind of crazy. Another little guy, we'll take him. Whoa. Another little guy on the crank. There we go. No way. <laughs> I messed up big time right there. Why did I lose my drag so much? Wow.
There we go. Oh, he came off too. <laughs> this thing got tangled on the raw tip, it seems like. Oh, there it goes. Man, that's upsetting. Wow. Okay, they're biting the cranks though, but wow. I don't know, are they not biting that good? Do I have the wrong color? Crankbait fishing can be tricky, you guys. Check that out. A chunk. Second chunk of the day. Well, he is pinned top of the mouth. Mm. Let me get that out of your bass. Oh, now we're caught in the net again. There we go. Look at that. We'll take it, you guys. That's second biggest of the day. Again, that crankbait's doing it. Let's let him back in. Let's try that again. Pretty close to that last spot. There we go. There we go. Whole lot of fun, you guys. Oh, he's going under. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Just fired up. That's another chunk. He is angry, you guys. He is angry. Holy moly. Look at that one. We'll take them, you guys. Crankbait fishing is on today. Whole lot of fun, whole lot of fun. Let's keep it going. There's a ton of fish right here. There we go. Oh, 
Sorry, bass. Sorry, bass. You know what? Let's just unhook the bass first. Now we'll get the hooks out of the net. One barb in him. Another little guy. We'll take it. Whole lot of fun. Alright, you guys. Comment down below. If you were catching this many fish here, would you move to find more fish? Or keep catching them? Keep catching them, right? But then you never know. What if there's another spot loaded like this somewhere else with bigger fish? It's always tricky. Look at that. We're going to catch one right here. I can feel it. I think like... If you cast towards that, that column there and cast really in straight back, there's fish right in the center. They're down there. They're like loaded up. I believe there's probably structure down there that holds these fish down there. They're just seeing that crankbait swim by and they're going for it. Now this probably is one of the deeper parts of the pond too so it makes sense that they're down there. If it's getting real hot and they want to be in that cooler water, they're going to go deep. So it probably is somewhere down there. Just glad we found a good spot to start cranking. Original goal for the video was to catch them on the buzz bait but that didn't work out so you have to adapt. Oh, here we go. He's coming up, he's coming up, he's coming up. There he is. Look at that. You always want to get that firm grip. They start shaking. Oh no, you're going to get troubles. There we go. Nice little guy. We're getting a bunch around this size. It's about a pound. We'll take it. And little ones you gotta watch out for. You will get a hook in you. Oh my. Don't do that bass, don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna get the hook in you again. <laughs> there we go three fish in a row no way this one's pulling drag. Oh, he came off. No. <laughs> we would have had three in a row. Man, this spot is crazy, you guys. Wow.
Little guy. We'll take him. And another one. <laughs> so many bats out here, you guys. Well, you guys, as you can see, that spot there was loaded, you guys. Cast after cast, we were catching them. I almost caught four in a row. I did catch three in a row for sure, but I almost caught four in a row because we had four bites back to back. But that fourth one did jump off. Earlier, we were missing a bunch, but... I do believe they are biting the crankbait pretty good, so I don't think I have the wrong collar choice. I thought I did until they were definitely loaded up here, but after a while, you guys, I think they catch on and they either left or they stopped biting the crankbait. So what I'm going to do now is make my way across the bridge or right under the bridge. We're going to try to find another school of bass and hopefully we can get on them again. You guys stay tuned. This fish has some damage on the side of his mouth. Mm. Hooked on the side, popped that out of him. Look at that. That there's a big one. All right, a chunk. We'll take him.
on top of the mouth. About a pounder, not bad, we'll take them. All right. I was expecting to catch a little guy and we got a big one you guys look at that wow oh no he got hooked he got gut hooked Oh, he's bleeding a lot. He's bleeding a lot. I'm gonna have to cut the line. Try to see if we can get this hook out of him. Sorry, bass. Sorry, bass. Come on, come on. There we go. We got the hook out of him. Whew. That bass has had it. We're going to let him back in. He's starting to use the restroom. Nasty. Let's let him in. He has to relax a little. He'll get back to it. Holy moly, you guys. all right you guys that's gonna be all for today's video overall we had a ton of fun you guys that was like the best crankbait bite i've ever been on you guys we caught so many near that bridge big one of the day over by the dam that was a big one and that was first fish of the day on a crankbait let me see if i can grab that real quick i know i have it behind me i have a little junk bin on the front of my kayak crate we did try the buzz bait but they didn't go for it look we got all tangled anyways there's that academy brand that's the h2o model s crankbait in chartreuse with the black back on top and then most of the fish were caught on that uh six cents fishing that's the finesse i'll find it i'll find it i'll put it in the description i believe that's the finesse square bill i think that color is sensory shad i could be wrong and then we did catch one on the drop shot which took us a while because i was like man i want to catch one on the drop shot that missile baits bomb shot that color candy bomb and then we caught three of them on the texas rig we were fishing that six cents fishing clout worm june bug red but what mainly did it was that crankbait you guys that was a whole lot of fun i don't really fish crankbaits a lot i don't have a ton of confidence in them but today that was clearly the right choice and when they were loaded up over there by that bridge I mean, we were catching them cast after cast after cast. That was a whole lot of fun. That was definitely the right bait to throw right there. If you were throwing a worm or something, you might have caught them. 
but maybe not as many and we were catching a bunch of them you guys anyways that's gonna be all for today's video i'm gonna head over to the truck load up everything hope you guys enjoyed and remember all the lures and a bunch of kayak stuff is in the video description if you buy through that amazon link i get a little bit back you know this stuff ain't cheap but anyways if you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching comment rate and subscribe